Please stay tuned till the end of the video. I have a special announcement. こんにちは、ゆうこ先生です。今日は私の日本語一の学生とシェアしたことをここ YouTube でもシェアしたいと思います。Today I want to share something that I have shared with my students in my online course, Japanese One. As many of you know, I have Japanese online courses and in Japanese One is the most elementary level that is designed for complete beginners. In the course, you learn the correct Japanese pronunciation, daily greetings and expressions, how to ask questions, and the basic sentence structure to talk about yourself in Japanese. You also learn to talk about your family and your friends. And at the end of the course, you submit an assignment, which is an essay. In the essay, you have to introduce yourself to a Japanese person who doesn't know anything about you. So you talk about your nationality, age, family, hometown, hobby, job, and so on. And my student sent me the essay by email. I check the grammar and the spelling, write my comments on the essay, and send it back to the student. And when I was checking their essay, I realized that I keep seeing the same mistake over and over again when they talk about their hobbies. For instance, a hobby like this. My hobby is watching anime. So that's what I want to share with you today in this lesson. How to say this ing part as in watching when you talk about your hobby? Okay, let's get into this. では始めましょう。So this is the sentence structure to talk about your hobby, right? My hobby is X. 趣味は X です。By the way, you can literally say my in the sentence, which is 私の like this. However, since not specifying whose hobby it is in the sentence automatically means it's the speaker's hobby and it sounds more natural without 私の in Japanese. I'm going to drop it here, okay? And here is something that you have to keep in mind. Some activities already have a specific name assigned in Japanese. For instance, take a look at the vocabulary list. The activity of reading books has a name, right? Which is 読書 So, if you want to say my hobby is reading books, you can simply put 読書 here in the sentence and then say 趣味は読書です。趣味は読書です。If your hobby is hiking, which is hiking in katakana, you can say 趣味はハイキングです。趣味はハイキングです。Let me show you other examples. 趣味はコスプレです。趣味はコスプレです。趣味は料理です。趣味は料理です。趣味はガーデニングです。趣味はガーデニングです。趣味は写真です。趣味は写真です。So these are all simple, right? Since you just need to put the name of the activity in the sentence. However, if you want to say my hobby is taking photos instead of my hobby is photography, then it gets a little bit complicated, okay? Okay, take a look at the English sentence here. My hobby is taking photos. Why do they add ing here? How come they don't say my hobby is take photos in English instead of taking photos? Right. 
This part of the sentence has to be a noun. That's why photography works perfectly. But take photos doesn't work since take is a verb. So in English, they add ing to convert a verb into a noun, as in taking. You can also do this by the way, adding to before the verb. This is another way to convert a verb into a noun in English. Now, you have to do the same in Japanese. You need to convert a verb into a noun. Let's learn how to do this. So, take photos or take pictures in Japanese is 写真を撮る写真を撮る in plain form. This is important, okay? You have to use the plain form of the verb. Now, we need to put this 写真を here and 撮る here. But this sentence is not complete yet because this 撮る is still a verb. It's like you are saying, my hobby is take photos, which is not grammatically correct. So we need to change this take to taking. Okay, this is what you do. You add koto after the plain form of the verb and then change 写真を撮る to 写真を撮ること This koto is like ing in English in this context. When it's added to a plain form of the verb, it converts the verb into a noun. So now the sentence is complete. My hobby is taking photos in Japanese is 趣味は写真を撮ることです。趣味は写真を撮ることです。Here, the most important thing that you need to remember is to use the plain form of the verb with koto. Okay? Okay, let's practice with a few more examples. If your hobby is watching anime, then you first have to figure out how to say watch in plain form. I know you haven't learned any Japanese verbs yet, but you can easily find this in Google Translate. Just type in to watch in Google Translate, and it gives you the plain form of the verb, okay? Which is miru in this case. So the noun version of the verb watch, which is watching or to watch in Japanese is 見ること見ること When you have a direct object like anime here, you have to mark it with the particle o in Japanese. So let's add anime o here. Now the sentence is complete. My hobby is watching anime in Japanese is 趣味はアニメを見ることです。趣味はアニメを見ることです。If your hobby is traveling, you can phrase it doing travel in Japanese. The verb do in plain form is する。And the travel is 旅行 So doing travel is 旅行をすること旅行をすること One side note. When you encounter a Japanese verb that has do, する you can also drop this particle を and then make a compound verb like this. So, another way to say my hobby is traveling in Japanese is 趣味は旅行することです。趣味は旅行することです。You do the same for shopping too. In Japanese, we say do shopping for the verb to shop. So, if your hobby is shopping, you can say 趣味は
買い物することです。趣味は買い物することです。Another verb that has する in it is to exercise, which is 運動する。So my hobby is exercising is 趣味は運動することです。趣味は運動することです。But a verb like swim doesn't have する in it. It has its own particular form, which is 泳ぐ。Again, you can easily find this in Google Translate by typing to swim, okay? So my hobby is swimming in Japanese is 趣味は泳ぐことです。趣味は泳ぐことです。My hobby is dancing is 趣味は踊ることです。趣味は踊ることです。My hobby is drawing or painting is 趣味は絵を描くことです。趣味は絵を描くことです。Okay, here's a question for you. How do you say my hobby is studying Japanese? You can pause the video here. Go to Google Translate to find out how to say to study in plain form and complete a sentence by yourself before I give you the answer. Okay, here's the answer. 趣味は日本語を勉強することです。趣味は日本語を勉強することです。I hope this lesson helped you to understand how to say your hobby in Japanese.I think now you are ready to do your assignment.Try to include your hobby in the essay, okay?I will return your essay to you as soon as I check it.So this is what I shared with my students in my online course, Japanese One. I hope you enjoy the lesson and find it useful. If you want to join my online course, I'm going to open special course packages for four days only from December 1st to December 4th. This is something that I do once in a year for the Cyber Monday deal. And these smaller packages are not available for the rest of the year. So if you want to sign up for my courses with a discount, You can get these special packages. Each course is 35% off in any packages that you choose. You can find the sign up links in the description box below. Again, this special discount is available only for four days and I cannot extend the offer longer than that, so please don't miss it. These packages open on Sunday, December 1st, and they close on Wednesday. December 4th at 7 pm. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss future lessons and announcements from me. Dewa, mata, sugi no lesson de aimashou.